Oh, I should. I need to do my calibrations, huh? Um. How do, how do I do my calibrations? When I can't use the mouse in this game. Um. I guess I'll push my mic to the keyboard. D. W. 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 D. 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 W. D. I don't know how to do. I'm not sure how to do audio cap. Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Last time we started the game, we started the game, we're doing Particio's story. He's a cleric around 16 years ago. This town was not a town, it was bought by Pap, which is uh, Particio's father in Rock. They made the town. Eight years after that, which is eight years ago from this point uh, that we're currently in, town was very prosperous, silver was popping off, but unfortunately, um, when the silver was expensive, the, the owner of this land originally bought it back, and basically now we're super poor, and silver probably isn't worth that much anymore as well. Uh, and Rock left because he kind of knew what was going on, and he has better... Uh, I guess, um, money, adventure, uh, I guess adventure, yeah, he has better, uh, money opportunities. And we're kind of stuck here, um, needing to, uh, at least that's what Pop is kind of saying that, uh, Particio is kind of stuck here because of Pop himself. And so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a dire situation. Uh, situation is very similar to actually a certain character in Octopath Tra the original Octopath Traveler. Um, give you a hint. It was one of the girl characters. Um, there was a there was a very similar uh, situ uh, setup situation as that character. But today we're gonna continue our journey with Particio's story. I'm trying to see here. It's um journey. We are yeah. It's chapter one. So that's what we're currently doing. It's chapter one of Particio's uh, uh, quest. I don't know Particio's journey. It's chapter one. So let's get started. We're uh, Pop is uh, coughing, not feeling too good, so we have to buy a medicine. This is why I think we're going to a tavern right now. Mm hmm. Hopefully, we have enough money. Purchase. Yeah, if you don't have enough money, you probably just need to. Uh... Hello, enter, enter, enter. Okay. That looks like a market price to me. You have yourself a deal. Thank you kindly. Yeah, if you run out of money, you can always just grind uh, enemies. We did go on uh, the first uh, area where there was some enemies. So if you need money, you grind there, I'm pretty sure. But currently, we don't need money, so. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Boss, got any work for us? I'm also gonna change the position of my mic here. None of us have had a job kind of. for days. I'm not sure. We can't even afford a decent meal. This town's done for. We've lost everything. I gotta find a way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Hey, boss. You got a job for me? Any job? Sorry, uh, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. The landowners' laws are squeezing us dry. Damn. What are we supposed to... Harry! That's my crust! Give it back! Shut up! I'm taking it! I've got mouths to feed too! That's enough. Here, y'all split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss, I... Right click? I can right click to pause? What is this? Press C and hold the skip. 
Can I have this on auto? Oh, I can't have it on auto. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Nikki. It's my fault for suffering. If only I could make things better. If only I could look out for you. I never imagined it would end up like this. I never knew what a devil poverty was or how much pain it could bring. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out some to do for work. Boss, it's not your fault. Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry! Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves, bucko. Gif. As if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Giff? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Ore prices are going down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart to do this. But times are tough. You think we'll stand for that? You ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah, we're all struggling just to eat. Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? In this world, there are those who squeeze, and those who get squeezed. You idiots are the latter. You're nothing but lemons to me. Your job is to get squeezed into lemonade. You... you... Though, uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? <laughs> Listen up, bucko. Next time I come to collect, I'm taking a bigger cut. Boss. Damn it! Alright, well, that was rough. <laughs> yep. Uh, seems like server has been going down, and it seems like the landowner has been squeezing us dry. I mean, that's kind of, be, kind of to be expected. And also, again, very similar to a certain story in uh, Champions of the Continent, if you know what I'm thinking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, this time, this story involves a man. Alright. Uh, ooh, first time we're actually entering the house. Let's check it out. This is chest here like co coin purse you can sell that for money I think a uh, small house oh he's sleeping I guess we check this out place medicine all right hey pops uh, I'm back Something happened? I've never seen you look so dispirited. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <sighs> Particio. I won't pretend to know what's got you down. But here's a word of advice. Why not just go for it? Do whatever it is you want to do most. 
You'll never lose if you never try, son. But you'll never win either. Huh. That settles it. I'll be back in two shakes of a case, Whisker Pops. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Kid's face lit up like a miner's lantern. It's pronounced Kate? Huh? It's all over for us. Uh, they're gonna squeeze us until we're dry as the desert sand. Fellas, listen up. You wanted a job, and I got one for you. Let's send those leeches packing. You mean it? I've been holding back ever since they took our deed away from us. We've all suffered in silence. Now, well, I finally understood. That dastard landowner, well, only thing on their mind is how to grow rich and fat off our toils. They don't care a whit about what happens to us or our town. That's why we gotta take it back, and our lives with it. I'm with you, boss. This is our town. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Now that that's settled, let's hustle on over to that Snake Gifts place. Yeah! All right, let's see what they have to say. Oh, <laughs> let's see what they have to sell. Um, do I want to hire someone? Mining. We we'll see the full reason I'm saying at the end. I think I want to hire. Let's get to work. Oh, I got to hire all of them. Okay, if they're cheap, I'll hire them all. Um, showing them what we're made of. First aid. All right. Oh, I can only do one. Okay, we don't need healing. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that you can have multiple. Boss, I don't know how long we've been waiting for this day to come. But anyway, you lead any charge, boss. Let's show them what we're made of. All right. Huh? Uh, same progress. Okay. Now they're teaching us to save, but I mean, I guess I'll save. Oh, uh huh. Looks like we are gonna throw hands. We're gonna throw hands with Griff. Don't know why. I don't know why we're throwing hands. I don't know what his goal is. Uh, the chest respawned. What the heck? Very cool. Uh, is it upwards? Is there a new path? Uh, okay. okay. Oh, we don't want to boost. Let's just normal attack. And then this time we boost. Wait, that doesn't defeat? You kidding me? Ow. Alright, this should defeat them. They were weak to, yeah, they were weak to pull on. They're not level up, but that's fine. We'll level up probably before the boss here. I know running, I don't know if running makes it so that it's more likely for enemies. Oh, la ladders? Like, ladders? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting excited for ladders. We also got a light stone, which is really nice for extra damage potential and shield breaking if we need it. Hyena. Get the general attack. Alright, not weak to pull on. Interesting. Intimidate lowers physical and magic. Um. I should know all those, but I don't. <laughs> or I should memorize all those, but I don't. No, that's fine. Basically, yeah, just stats conditions that you can inflict on your, uh, that can be inflicted on the enemy. And there's also stats elements that you can, um, uh, like, stat buffs and debuffs. And of course, status conditions too. Like, sleep fit and stuff like that. 
But not too, uh, you know, not too crazy here. We leveled up though, we got JP. Um, actually, let me check. I don't think I can learn skills yet. I think I'll probably be able to learn skills after the first boss fight. So let's check these chests, because who knows, they might actually contain... I'm hoping that these chests contain a bit of armor or weapon. Because I didn't buy any armor or weapons. <laughs> Which might be a bad thing here. Alright, let's go to his mansion. Let's see it. It's an egg. We can pull on, that's good. Yeah, usually you want to scatter weaknesses, but because I'm pretty weak, I'm not going to bother scouting out weaknesses here. We're just going to go with the damage. Oops. But yeah, I guess now that we have, we're have we exploring, we have a little time to talk. Uh, yeah, I've been enjoying this game. The main things I liked about Octra Octopath Traveler 1 was, honestly, I really liked the characters and the story. Admittedly, the gameplay in this game isn't like, you know, the gameplay in this game isn't the craziest. Alright, to be full. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's a lot to explore here, apparently. You know, it's a, it's a turn-based... It's a turn-based RPG, so it's not like too, too crazy in, in what it does. But I do enjoy uh, the simplicity of it. It's not bad. Ooh, it looks like a uh, turn order is not always the same. That's interesting. Because I went first and then he went first. And it, it's alternating. I don't know if it's because we have the same speed or... Or what. But it looks like I'm doing pretty well. Alright, leveling up. So, yeah. I do I do like the gameplay. And the story was really good too. But another thing that really sticks out in this game in particular is the music. Um, I mentioned it last time, but holy... The music in this game is fantastic. It's like orchestral music and... I mean, you can, you can see that they put a lot of effort into into making the music, so... I really do- Oh, there we go, Leather Helmet. I knew we, we might get uh, a little bit of... Uh, things. We have Ordinary Hat. Let's, okay, a little bit more. So, that's another thing I really like about it. And, and of course, the art style. I think when I first saw this game, it was like on Nintendo Direct, and they they showcased they showcased uh, this game in development. It was like Project Eight or something. I forgot what it was called. It was it wasn't called Octopath Traveler. It was called Project Eight or something. Um, so I was pretty excited about the art style too. But those are a few things I really liked about the game. And so playing this one. Love to see what new characters and new stories they have to offer, but also very excited for the new music that this game has to offer, too. Um, it looks like we're here at the boss fight. <laughs> it's funny, they kept this guy. There's usually a peddler right next to the boss fight where you can buy things, and it looks like we could buy some items. Uh, honestly, I don't want to buy any of these. I think I'm going to be good for now. We do want to save. We want to save before the boss fight, just in case we die. And yeah, this video is only not 20 minutes yet, so we can definitely do the boss fight here. And then see what happens next. Hope we might be able to... Yeah, let's just say we'll do the boss fight here. Did you see the tears on that fool's face earlier? <laughs> you said it, Gif. Excuse me, Gif. Huh? Look who it is. I'm moved. I am. Came to give me what you owe me early? Huh. Something like that. Here. A coin made from our silver. One measly leaf? You trying to insult me? You're the one insulting it, you rotten scoundrel. Every fortune's made from a pile of these. The little guys. Treat one with contempt and you'll lose them all. That goes for money and for people. <laughs> What a joke. We've made up our minds, Gif. 
We're taking our town back. You? A third-rate merchant from the sticks? <laughs> You're just as stupid as your father. What did you say? The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. That bit of fine print wasn't even in the original contract. The landowner slipped it in at a later date, all quiet-like. Your gullible idiot of a father never even noticed. Thanks to you, we've lived fat off the hog. Earned ourselves a mine and a bunch of fool miners for next to nothing. <laughs> you, you're dirty through and through. You tricked my pops and stole everything from us. Yeah, well, too bad. This world, see? It's made so that people with smarts, like me, we win. <laughs> You've done it. You really, really got my coat. Get ready, Kiff. We're taking our town back from your dirty mitts. Let's tussle, Gif. Bring it on. Alright, we are fighting. I think that we do want to use our merchant skill here. Oh, not a merchant skill. We summon. Um, time people will require after a few turns of path. If it's still remaining when battle ends, they can be summoned again. Alright. We can summon Harry nine times here, I think. It's your ship now, friend. Take this. Whoa, he, he does a double attack? Oh, that's it. That's all he does for us. Oh, I thought I could move. Okay. Looks like I can't move. Oh, but he sometimes takes a hit for us, which is pretty good. Let's try to get rid of the lackeys first. All right, we can pull arms. Oh, he does still act. Oh, nice. That's super good. Yeah, I definitely want to be utilizing our summons here, just because um, it's pretty important that we do. Um, yeah, I want to save my SP for resting and using powerful attacks. Oh, he was shit, okay. He did really good, because he was able to tank hits for us and everything, so I will definitely want to summon him again. Also, am I getting too low on HP? I think it should be fine, right? Should be fine. Yeah, we can summon eight more times. Alright, we're good. Hopefully he... No, not that guy, okay. I am at full... I am at full... What you call it? SBP. So I think I want to use three on the lackey here. Although I really want to see if he has a bow weakness. I should have tried using a bow attack first. Oh well. We did break... Uh, Gif. Do I want to attempt to attack Gif? Bluster, lowering physical attack. I want to try to see if I can eliminate Lackey here. I don't know if the Lackey is weak to bow, so this might be kind of a waste. Um, well, he died anyway, so that's good. Alright. Good chip damage. Retreated. Alright, we'll try to summon him back again later. Hit the mark. Miss? Okay, we're good. Summon Harry again. He's been very good. Unfortunately, that guy isn't weak to axe, so we're not really getting good uh, Harry value there. Unless, he's probably weak to bow. He is weak to bow, okay. So, that's good. Oh, good chip damage there. Special bonus. Kind of useless because he's broken. Alright. Oh, hit the mark, missed again. Good. Let's try using an arrow fortune here. Let's see if this does good damage. Alright, that's pretty decent. 5 JP for that. Alright, axe the uh, gift. That's pretty good. 
Alright, I'm getting low on HP. That being said, though. Let's see if I can beat this battle without healing. <laughs> Retreated. Alright, we're gonna need to summon him again. Ooh, 50 damage. Okay, I definitely need to heal myself. <laughs> we do have healing grapes here, which should heal for like 50. Or 500, I should say. Alright. We're summoning our buddy again. And I think I want to save... Yeah, from now on, I do want to save my bow attack. Oh! We, we beat that guy. Alright, good. Takes aim. So yeah, he can, he's gonna do a powerful move now. Um, I think... Let's see what he does. Not weak to bow. Oh, snapper. Oh, but you are weak to axe. Get wrecked, cuz. Alright. I don't know if I want to save. Honestly, I might just... I just use a normal uh, pull arm attack here. Because this turn we can break him super easily. We retreat from battle, okay. That's fine. Because here, this turn, takes the throw. Yeah, it does a, lot, a bit of damage. Hey, don't encourage him. I'm almost done with this fight. Can't believe trash like you was giving me trouble. Hey, morons! Stop slacking off! Is he really gonna summon allies? Oh no! Get over here and finish this fool! <laughs> How you call for help? Fine by me. I'll take you all on. Once the latent power gauge is full of characters, can use unique commands in battle, huh? Fill gauge to unleash late the latent power. Uh, you get when take damage or break an enemy. Bring it on! Oh, I can break. I can break right now. Oh, that does turn my latent power. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Oh, the latent power for some of them were like increasing stats and stuff. How do I use my latent? Is my latent power even fully charged? I'm not even sure. How, how do I how do I do my latent power? Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, hold up. I'm not sure how to use my latent power. It's your shift now, friend. Take this. Oh, that's big damage. Well, if I take damage here, oh, now it's fully charged. Okay, now it's fully charged. Okay. Uh, who in holler? You can instantly replenish. Oh, it replenishes BP. I see. Don't underestimate me. Receive max BP. Well, that's not very useful right now. So, I guess we might not even be able to use our lane power because we've had a lot of BP. Yeah, we had a lot of BP. But yeah, we defeated Gif. There we go. We did have to use one healing grape. So, you know, not the cleanest of battles. But hey, I mean, if I didn't use a healing grape, I would have died. So, we got a silver ingot from it. Well now, made your peace. Oh, wait! Spare my life! If it's money you want, I got it. Loads of it. See? Whoa there. Silver. So this is where you've been hiding all the coin you swiped from us. We can rebuild our town with this. You won't blame me, right? I was just following orders. That's so. Then fetch your boss. I'd like to have a word. I, I can't do that. No one's ever met him. Huh. Come to think of it, Pop said he handled the contract and all the negotiations by post. Neither me nor Pop's ever had a face-to-face. -face. So, Giff, who is this landowner anyway? You can't make me talk! It'll be my hide if I do! Too bad for you. It'll be your hide if you don't. <laughs> Rock Brilliant. The tycoon himself. What? 
Mr. Rock. But, but why? The man's got a ruthless mind for business. This was his plan all along. You're lying. This has to be some mistake. I'm sure of it. Mr. Rock could never do that to us. He wouldn't. Returning to our little town. Hey, Greenhorn, hurry up and move this material. Yes, sir. We're gonna work you hard until you pay off your debt, you hear? Excuse me, Mr. Particio, sir. Pops, you fine to be walking around? Yeah, thanks to you. I'm too busy to be dead. <laughs> I'm distributing the wealth stolen from us back to the times, folk. And life's starting to come back to us. Sure is. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I made arrangements to get the materials you wanted. Woo! You're a lifesaver. Hey, Partition. Can we have a talk? Uh-huh. We're talking now, ain't we? Just be quiet and follow me for a spell, will you? It's been 16 years since we settled here. We started from nothing and had our fair share of ups and downs. Yeah, you could say that again. Pops... Mr. Rock, he, uh... I don't give a hoot about Rock no more, son. He left us in the lurch. I don't ever want to see his face again. Listen, I want you to look to the horizon. You've got a bright future ahead of you. You're gonna be something if I reckon right. Something too big for this little town to contain, even if it wanted to. Pops? Don't worry about us anymore. We can get along just fine without you. Boss! Particio! Boss! You've got too much potential for our little town. It'd just go to waste here. That's why I want you to hit that dusty trail already. Get along, little chickadee. Uh, this town's my home. I grew up here. But to be honest, as the day is long, I've wanted to see the world for a while now. Ever since Mr. Rock took off and left us. I don't regret staying here, not for an instant. But now, well, I know how painful poverty can be. Boss. We managed to weather our troubles here, even if just barely. But 
But somewhere out there, I know there's folks suffering just as much as we did, or worse. I want to do what I can for them. Use my talents to make the world a better place. Hmm. Being a merchant ain't just about making bundles of leaves. It's the reason why that matters. I'm proud of you, son. Pops. You're no chickadee any longer. You're a full-fledged, bona fide merchant. Go on. Help others like you helped us. Bring prosperity to all those troubled folks out there. And show up that rock feller while you're at it. Get along now, Articio. We'll see to the town while you're gone. Yeah, we'll keep it safe and sound. Don't worry about us, boss. Boss, take care out there. Fellas. <laughs> you all say so. I got no choice now, do I? I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty. And we're off. Oh, oh, and, and so. Oh yeah, I forgot they had this. And so, with lofty ambition stirred deep within his breast, Particio leaves his hometown behind. Until thousands across the world suffer under the yoke of poverty and he has vowed to friends and family to help them all. Onward, this young merchant strides with eager step, excited by the prospect of discovering what's over that distant horizon. Particio, the merchant, chapter one, end. All right, great to end it. This time too, nice. Looks like these uh, chapters won't be too long then hopefully. All right. <laughs> oh crap. Uh oh. Uh oh, this ain't good. You run thief, you took my bag? What do I do now? I won't be able to continue my travels without it. Oh, are you a traveler? Al, I'm also on my journey. My name is Al, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard this area is quite dangerous, so it would be best to stay careful. The thief around uh, thieves around at night, I lost my bag to one such man. Now I need to figure out how to get it back. Please switch between daytime and nighttime in your travels. Press T to change. Time of day affects town as well. Traf path action change. Stronger monsters come out at night if you want to hand them in your party. People, there are people who need your help all across Solistia. Solistia, that's the name of the uh, the continent here. There may be more than one way to solve their problems. Oh, that's sick. There's more than one way to help solve the problem. Also. Uh, this side mission scares me. Um, for those who've played Octopath Traveler 1, and I mean for those who've completely played Octopath Traveler 1, um, you know that the first mission is... It's a doozy. <laughs> it's a doozy. Okay, so let's... Oh, I pressed T. Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, I pressed T again. Oh, it's day... Oh, that's... I pressed T on accident. <laughs> so, let's look before we leave. Uh, fast travel now. Uh, interesting. Yeah, uh, we can fast travel to- can I? No, I have to explore it first. And yeah, here we go. We have all of the people's story. All of them are green. Oh, wow. Wait, there's two of them? Oh, you can choose which quest you want to do. That's interesting. It's not- Yeah. So anyways, now that we've finished basically the tutorial, we can unlock any character we want. And then we can also do a Particio's Chapter 2 story. Wait, chapter's two story. Oh my, what is this? You can go to all these towns. I am, I don't know what this means. Sense of commerce. They're like side missions that, that he can participate in. Yeah, so chapter two here. It looks like it's green, level 18. Yeah, I recommend level 18. We're currently like level one. Should probably zoom out Zoom out for you guys. So yeah, that's, where, that's what that's at. And then a uh, journal here, side stories. 
Yeah, Traveler's Bag. Oh, it's a very interesting one. Okay. Um, indeed. Well, that's the story. Seems very interesting. We have a hat that we hold up while we run now. That's very cool. Again, <laughs> very similar to Tressa's. Uh, I mean, it's called Octopath Traveler. I Octopath Traveler. So if you're expecting our character to stay in one place, I mean, that's obviously not going to happen. We're all going to travel around. But very similar to Tressa. I guess very similar to everybody where he gets travel. But indeed, uh, we're going to rid the world of poverty. Change the world for the better. That's Particio's um, vibe here. And I like it. I like it. Again, my favorite character in Octopath Carly was Tressa. Just because I really enjoyed her story. Was her story the best story? No. <laughs> I think Primrose story was pretty good. Primrose story and Hanna's story is pretty good. But Tressa had the most uh, enjoyable story in my opinion. So I, I, so that's why very nice to have play as Particio. Also, uh, there's more town here. There's more town here that we can explore. So yeah, I think next time, next time we might do a little bit of exploration. We're gonna do a little bit of exploration, and then I think that um. Yeah, maybe next time. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of exploration. We're, we're probably not gonna go to do another person's story. Maybe do some side quests first and stuff like that. Check out what there is to offer. And uh, yeah. So... Thank you so much for watching, I guess. You're beautiful just the way you are. And I'll see you in the next Octopath Traveler video.